Hello, in this video, I'm going to uh, look and show you how we can import data uh, via uh, Azure Machine Learning Workspace. So as you can see here, we have um, actually uh, we see Notebook, Azure ML, uh, Automated ML and Designer. So for all of them, we needed data. There are many ways to import the data. I'm, in this video, I'm just going to show you how to import data uh, via UI. In future uh, video, I will show you how to get data using the code. So uh, there are different ways of getting the data. So uh, of course, uh, we have data store that is a container of the data and the data are located there. And each uh, data store can have many data set. However, you can bring your data through create a data set directly from your local machine or from a data store that I will talk about that or getting the data from a web URL or from a actually open data set that available. Um, so these are uh, really easy to get the data. So for all of them, you provide a, a name for each of them, some uh, and also the database type that is tabular, some description. Uh, for getting the data via your computer is actually you easily browse through here and you can actually browse a folder or file and get the data. So that's, that's actually the easiest way for testing that. However, uh, also you can get the data from a web service. You provide the URL through here, you provide the information, and then you can import the data. Uh, however, the best way is actually is uh, going through the data store. So uh, first of all, I recommend to create a data store here. So when I go to the data store, um, I able to provide a name for that data store so i said power bi data set uh, there are many options that i can get my data from azure blob storage from azure file share uh, data lake uh, gen 1 and gen 2 azure sql and the others so i'm going to get the data from my blob storage so uh, first of all is able to get my azure subscription and then uh, it showing me the different storage account that I have and uh, from there is actually shows me the available storage account so these are the one that I have so this is a PBI so if I back to my um, blob storage you can see that this is the one and here is actually uh, I need to provide the key that is there so you need to back to your Azure uh, blob storage from the key actually get the key from here uh, and then copy and paste it over here so you can actually create a new data store over here uh, so after it's actually is created as you can see blob storage now if i back to my data store and uh, i choose get the data from my data store um, for example uh, the data is titanic number 45 and i'm going ahead here is actually uh, you can actually see that one so here if you browse it's actually going to show you the available data set that you have in your blob storage so that's the one that we have so it's actually i can choose one of them here and you can provide some format and then after that you actually able to bring the data as a normal one the good thing is that once you connect to the storage that you have that is a sql one or the blob storage and after that you will be accessed through all of the data set. so thanks so much for watching this video about how to get data from a data store that is a blob storage